In today's video, I'm going to show you how to run the SUMO simulation. So the overall of the SUMO simulation process is given in this figure. So basically you need two files. We have already defined the network file. We have given the name quickstart.night.xml. Now we need to define the traffic demand. Then we have to give them a name, for example, quick start, R-O-U, X-M-L. So in this lecture, I'm mainly show you how to define this file, quick start, R-O-U, X-M-L. First, let's go to the folder where, where the quick start network is saved. Usually it is saved in user, then sumo, quick start. So this is the network we have been created using the net edit. Now we need to define this file, quick start, ROU, XML. So I have already have a file created before. So I'm just to show you the content of it. Let me open it using Atom. So to define the root file, basically it contains three main parts. So if you see it starts with loss. So let me screw down. So this is the loss. To define the loss, we need to first define the type of vehicles. So in this tutorial, we have four different type of vehicles. We can type A, type B, type C, and type D in this network. Then we we'll assume that all drivers are 50% perfect in driving, sometimes they made mistakes and cause accidents. So the parameters for these vehicles are given here. So for example, in vehicle type A, we know its maximum acceleration is three meters per second and the maximum deceleration is six meters per second. And its length is five meters and the maximum speed is 50 meters per second. So let's compare so how to define this vehicle type in this log file. So basically this is the V type. This defines acceleration. It's a maximum acceleration of the perspective vehicle type. So its unit is meter per square second. So max acceleration is three. Then maximum deceleration is a maximum deceleration of the perspective vehicle type. So its unit is usually it's minus, okay, to minus meter per square second. So this is the vehicle ID. So ID is the ID of the vehicle type defined by users. You can using the numbers, word strings of both. Here the ID is car A, the length of the vehicle is in meters, it's five meters, so we can see here. Then we have minimum gap. So this minimum gap basically means what the difference be distance between two vehicles. So we, we can say the minimum gap is 2.5 and maximum speed is 15 meters per second. So sigma here we say is 0.5. So sigma basically means the driver's imperfection in driving. Let's say they are 50% they are perfect, but for other 50%, they may make mistakes. Similarly, we can define vehicle type B and vehicle type C and type D. Once we have 
all the types of vehicles in the network, we need to define the route. For example, here we have the route ID. Then we have we have already defined the address in the network. So the vehicles will just follow one edge, then another. Now let's go back to this map we have. So this is the network we use to we use in the simulation. We can see for the first for the last one vehicle will start as D2, then it follows L2, L12, L10, L7, and D7. So for the second one, L D2, L2, this is the lot two, then L12, then the vehicle makes a right turn, it goes L15, then it makes a left turn, go to L18, then L5, and D5. So this defines the lot. Now we need to define the vehicle. For vehicle, we can set this depart is the vehicle departure time. This is departure time. This is the vehicle ID. The ID of certain vehicles you can is defined. You be numbers or word strings of both. Here we said a vehicle zero. Then with the law, the vehicle is going to travel. Here we say this vehicle zero is going to travel lot zero one. It means this vehicle is vehicle zero. If you start at time. 40, 54 thousand seconds and along this lot one, D2, L2, L12, L10, L7, and D7. So the vehicle will travel along this lot. The type of this vehicle is car A. This is the car A of this vehicle. Its properties is given, are given here. Then we can also define the color of the vehicle. So one, Zero, zero means this vehicle is red. So zero, one, zero represents green and zero, zero, one represents blue. Then you can using, you can define all the other types of vehicles and the vehicle departure time, the vehicle ID, rows and type and, and the color and so on. Let's go down. Yeah, then we are done here. Okay, this is the time ID. We have this is the vehicle. We have one thousand four hundred and thirty nine vehicle, and this vehicle will travel at lot twelve. Type is car D. Then we are done with this file. Then to run the simulation, you also need another file to the configuration file. So once you have the track demand file and network file, here I will show you how to use the visualization. Then we use Sumo GUI. Then you need to do the config file. Configuration file for the track simulation is something like this. So you tell the input, we have the night file, is a network, a quick start, you give the name, the value is quick start dot XML, and route files is the one I showed you, is quick start, 
here is quick start R O U X M L. Then this is the input. Then we have the time, time when the simulation starts, then when it ends. Then we have this time to teleport value is minus one. And here is the disable the automatic removal of vehicles for those vehicles which be too long in front of an intersection. Then we are done with the configuration. We have start with the configuration. So I have this file in my folder it's here. So let's drag into the text editor to see. Yeah, we have the configuration. Then we need the input two files, the network file and route file. Then we let like know start time and end time. Then we disable the automatic removal of vehicles. Then we are done. Okay. So what you can do then you can just type sumo GUI. Yeah, let's open Sumo GUI. Let's open here. You can go down to, yeah, this should be in C, user, name, Sumo, quick start. Let's click on quick start, Sumo CFG, okay. Then you set Loading configuration done. Load net file done. Loading done. Then we can start simulation. Then you can choose the real world map. Then you can start the simulation. Now let's see very fast has been finished. Okay. Let's set a delay maybe. Restart again. Then you can see all these vehicles. Okay. You can visualize those vehicles. Which some of them are right. We define the color. We go to different lot. Yeah, so depending on their priorities, so some may need to wait. So the priority is given to the east and westbound. So all the vehicles they want to make a turn, they need to wait. Now you can stop it anytime. Okay, let me close it. Okay. So to wrap up, after you use Sumo Net Edit to defend network. So you need to define the traffic demand. In the traffic demand, you need to define the vehicle type, vehicle type and route and vehicle. 
then you need configuration file to let Sumo GUI know the input, the network, and the log, the beginning time and end time, then you can run the simulation. 